Welcome guys and thank you for joining us for another episode of 5 Years to 40, the podcast where we are talking, thinking and taking tremendous steps through our 30s towards a fascinating and fabulous 40 year old life. We're so excited that you're joining us today. We're really excited, especially because we have our first sit down interview with um, with my sister. Alethea, thank you for joining us, Alethea. Thank you for having us. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, guys, so you know our conversations are always focused on four main topics, our career, our relationships, our finances, and our health. And today, we're going to be talking about the story of a side hustle, and that will be dealing with our finances and our career. So, guys, be sure to get your notes out and get excited as I am because we're going to be dealing with something that really, really has an impact on your fascinating, fabulous future. So, Alethea, Alethea is an entrepreneur and she's going to go into all the things that we need to know. So, let's get right into it. Can we? Sure. Let us. All right. Awesome. So, uh, because you're an entrepreneur, tell us about your background in entrepreneurship, like your education and your work experience. All right, so my background in entrepreneurship dates back to, let's say, 2011, Mm. uh, when I was graduating from university and I did a degree in international business, which really gave you a taste and an appetite for business on an entrepreneurial scale or in general. Right. Um, When we were about to graduate, myself and three other colleagues decided that, you know what, there weren't a whole lot of jobs available. Mm. And we were about to graduate and we need jobs. So we decided, no, we got to do something about this. So we right. started a consultancy called New Face Consultants back in 2011 to try to assist small business owners and persons graduating like us with uh, skills like IT personnel who could have opened a business but didn't know the have the know-how as to how to go about registering, marketing, etc. We're helping them close that gap and empower them to be able to do their businesses as entrepreneurs. That's really good. Yeah. So the interest in entrepreneurship started from there. That's that's really awesome. I mean, you take charge of the future you want to you by creating an avenue for doing exactly. what you exactly trained in. That's exactly. really awesome. Exactly. So um, you basically told us, gone into letting us know what inspired you to become an entrepreneur and how you got started. So for a listener and a viewer who is interested in doing something like a startup, a, a, a side hustle, what kind of advice, what kind of skills and, and, and background you think they need to know for them to be able to be successful? Okay, absolutely. So whatever type of business or side hustle you want to have, you would need to have a basic knowledge in that area so that you can sustain the growth of that business. Right. Uh, qualities, I would say as an entrepreneur, I'd say you need to be dedicated. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You need to be consistent right uh, a lot of people start up and say okay I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that and they're an entrepreneur for a hot minute and mm-hmm. then the focus changes or then it dwindles away and you hear nothing about it and mm-hmm. then they fall it falls away and you think oh, okay entrepreneurship wasn't for me but it was just because you're not dedicated or you're not focused and that's one of the two of the qualities that I think entrepreneurs need to have if you intend to make it in entrepreneurship in terms of skill set uh, marketing is super important Right. Because it's a very competitive environment that we're in and it's a small island. So I think marketing to get and attract the customers that you want is very important as well. So you come with social media, other types of marketing, direct marketing, etc. That's super important. Mm -hmm. Uh, For anybody thinking about uh, doing a startup or becoming an entrepreneur, so I encourage you to go for it. One of my other businesses is retail Sorry, Renaissance. <laughs> Renaissance we business. The we're we're, we're going to get there. <laughs> Where I work with small businesses again because it was my passion from since the inception of New Face Consultants to work with small businesses. Nice. Even if that business came to a pause with uh, me and my colleagues or so hidden snacks of running to different focuses. Some persons traveled to further their education, got different jobs, etc. So we didn't do that anymore. Mm-hmm. I reverted back into consultancy to assist small business owners because that was my passion right. and I started Renaissance Business Group and in that I worked behind the scenes with a lot of small business owners and other persons interested in going forward with their businesses mm-hmm. to help them position and you know get social media set up right, uh, branding, market research, etc. 
Right. That's the whole drive behind Renaissance Business Group. Yeah. That's awesome. You know, what's inspired of what you just said is that everybody can, you, you kind of knew deep down what you were interested in and you weren't afraid to go back into it even Absolutely. if it, it's, it, it's slow. So guys, if there's a, a burning idea, a thought, something you're really passionate about, you know that you can be good at, even if you started it and it didn't, it kind of fell off the grid, don't give up. Go right back into it. She spoke. She said dedication. She said consistency. Use those. Get some background, some kind of skills to support what you do, what you plan to do, and Absolutely. you will be successful. Okay. So she jumped ahead, but we're gonna go into it now. <laughs> Alethea is just launching a brand new business called Reach Hill Circle. So we wanted her to give us some background on that. Can you can you give us? An idea of what Retail okay. Circle is all about. So Retail Circle, as the name implies, is a retail-based business mm -hmm. in which we uh, provide clothing, trendy, beautiful, stylish clothing. Indeed. <laughs> at the most reasonable prices that you'd find anywhere in Ireland. Mm -hmm. We pop up at different locations. So with uh, pop-up is a new type of business where you do not have a set location, mm -hmm. but you have the flexibility of going to different venues and popping up and having your store there for the day or an extended period of time, but you're not in that fixed location. So that's right. the concept of pop-up. Right. And where we go, we usually invite our local vendors and artisans to come and pop up with us. So you have persons like, uh, for example, Brenny Sensations, who's a local, entrepreneur and she mm -hmm. supplies things like candles and body oils etc mm -hmm. and she'd be there we'd have jewelry makers people who make locally handmade goodness like you should see the products it's amazing and we always have new vendors coming into the different pop-ups and so that we have but just to revert back onto what the retail circle actually offers as core inventory mm -hmm. so i was talking about the clothing mm -hmm. then we have swimwear yeah we have some lovely swimsuits in stock it's summer it's summer all year round for us island girls so it's important <laughs> to have wonderful nice swimwear that you can rock at the beach whenever you go right uh we also have cosmetics and accessories of our own that we carry in retail circle nice so just a little too about the background of retail circle right now many persons might find that okay this sounds similar to pop-up thrift shop renata yes it is similar so uh, in 2017, October 2017, I, along with a friend, started that business, Public Thrift Shop Grenada. And during that time, so we operated for a little over a year, we have met the most amazing and supporting customers mm -hmm. and vendors as well. Mm -hmm. But after the year of review and so on, just different focuses as well, mm -hmm. we've decided to uh, dissolve what really was pop of Trisha Grenada. Mm -hmm. But again, I guess I'm stubborn. <laughs> With my passion and background in in retail, because mm -hmm. I had previous jobs and so in retail roles where I really fell in love with the whole concept of business and procurement, etc. Mm -hmm. I decided to continue and to rebrand with Retail Circle Grenada, which is what I'm talking about today. Right, awesome. So a customer, we're, we're going to this retail circle um, when we get there, what do we expect? What's exciting? Okay, so on Saturday, March 30th, that's this coming Saturday, yeah. we're having the launch pop-up. And it's called, is a pop-up party. Yeah, This is a party. It's we're a celebrating, party. we're celebrating, we're celebrating. Yay! So what you can expect? Amazing service. Right. Amazing service, awesome prices. Mm -hmm. Introductory discounts on top of our awesome prices. Cha-ching! We're saving. Yes. Save, save, save. Corgo. <laughs> uh, just quality clothing, like value for your money. So nice. on top of having good prices and discounts, we're talking about quality, things that's going to last, timeless pieces. Mm. Uh, just come through and shop around. Have a great time. We have local vendors as well, popping up with uh, different things that they have to offer, all at amazing prices. Yes. Our vendors usually bring the best prices and do special discounts when they're at pop up with us in the whole theme of savings. So it's a great time to come out and shop. Right, so, so you understand that Retail Circle has already started speaking to the people who will be there and they understand that when the, the vendors are gonna come with a, with a great attitude, and the buyers are gonna come with a great attitude, and we're all just gonna go and have a, a party. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna have a party. <laughs> and um, we're, we're gonna be like 
we understand that all we're gonna do is to save and have some fun and to support each other, right? Absolutely. So that's what this, absolutely this March thirtieth um, pop up is gonna be. And can you tell us where it's gonna be? Oh, absolutely. So this pop up is gonna be at the D Charlotte Restaurant and Bar located along the Karani James Boulevard. Right. Now that is next to Foodland, but it's in context. Right. And in the yard of the Compass Shipping. Uh, business right that same location. so it's really easy accessible guys you could drop off from a bus you could drive in there the parking is good as yes, far as I yes, recall yes. so it's it's on your Saturday route to your supermarket run while you're going to the market where it is just take a little turn off and exactly. get to the Charlotte you get the it. restaurant actually is gonna be in on the deals as well they usually Ooh. run specials so you can stop by stay for lunch there's specials on drinks you could grab a few beers right special going on so it's party. a vibe we have a, a, a party it is, it's a pop-up party. party all day <laughs> right and we'll be having a link um to the adverts for retail circle in the description of this video yes, so yes. you guys to be sure check out the page check out the instagram page uh, we're on instagram facebook handle? and instagram as retail circle grenada or one word mm -hmm. the pop-up just to pop back on that mm -hmm. is going to be from 10 a.m to 6 p.m so we're there pretty much all day come right. on out and get yourself some great deals yes yeah uh yeah mm -hmm. we'll be there it's, it's gonna be awesome looking forward to this event okay oh Alicia, well you know just before we wrap up i wanted to ask you two other quick questions okay because we know that as beautiful as entrepreneurship is and as rewarding as it is and it is meaningful work we understand that anything that's meaningful usually comes with a few challenges so tell us can you give us some idea of if i'm trying to start a side hustle some of the challenges you encountered or we might encounter okay wow Okay, so some of the challenges that I've encountered in different projects and so I think would have been attracting the people that you want to attract as your customers. Mm -hmm. Now, and that's why consistency is so important and persevering right. Right. because those are going to be the things that hinder you. You may be trying to, let's say, grow a social media page and you're like, oh, I'm not getting the likes, I'm not getting the this and that. It doesn't mean anything do not try do not be discouraged keep pushing through and eventually you're going to break down barriers and get persons to notice you once you're being consistent and you have like quality and content and whatever you're offering the public also it's important to know that if your business is uh people facing or people centric you need to be to be pleasant you need to be that type of person that's going to be engaging so that persons can refer you because referrals work magic in this country so those are some of the challenges and that's how you can overcome it be consistent to to get to attract the people that you want to attract etc mm -hmm. and if you do have a, a side hustle that you've started or thinking about starting Re renaissance business group is perfect <laughs> right that's right <laughs> to you assist us. with yeah. that so you can give us a call shoot us a message renaissance biz b-i-z group at instagram and facebook we're here for you okay well we'll link that business in the description as well but i'm so glad you talked about consistency i can tell you as a as a, a side hustle person for myself sometimes when you you start you have an idea and you put it out there oh, sometimes yes. the, your page goes dead like there's nothing you wonder did i post did it even go out like people <laughs> don't even bother is the weirdest thing but i found that if you're really passionate about what you're doing and you 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 continue eventually the changes happen and it feels good for you and it feels oh, good yes. for the people who oh, you're yes. really serving so i think your advice is spot on i i, I can attest to that so before you go what's happening in the future what can we expect from you oh wow the 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 possibilities are endless i want retail circle to grow 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 um ultimately i want to get to the point where we're attracting regional vendors mm -hmm. to come out to grenada and showcase and sell their products and so on and to be able as well to create an avenue where we can help our local vendors to get their products out there. So maybe run a pop-up in a neighboring country in the region and take our yeah. local vendors out there to, to get your products out to the wider market and the wider world. Yeah. Absolutely. She's taking the sky to the limit to the whole other, a whole other level, you know. <laughs> sky to the, limit. Exactly. the shores are not the limits. We're going all out. We're going across the Caribbean. That's right. And we're just spreading all this love. 
Well, Alethea, let me tell you, thank you so much for coming and thank talking you for to us. Me. I believe that the community, the five years to 40 community would really appreciate everything you had to say. Um, young women like yourself, you inspire us and we celebrate you for all the things that you've done, thank all the you, things that you're you. achieving. We're really proud of you, not just as a sister, but as a, <laughs> sis as a sister, as a sister. As a sister. <laughs> We're really thankful for the things that a lot of women are doing. And in honor of that, I wanted to make sure I made some special mention. I tried to, I tried to, you know, like props, right? So I tried to do as much propping as I could for <laughs> all the side hustle and the small business women. So today I'm wearing a wrap chick uh, head wrap, uh, tailored by Terrian. The link will be in the description below. So be sure to check out that page. I'm wearing some Android earrings. I'm going to also link the description for android in the in the description and i meant to have this candle in the props but the camera wouldn't allow me to spread it <laughs> and this is from renee sensations let me tell you something guys when it comes to quality for money you wanna you want to get stuff from Renee Sensations. And you said she will be in the yes. retail yes, store pop up on Saturday. on Saturday. This cupcake candle, oh, it is divine. It smells so good and it lasts it forever. Really and for me, value for money is uber important. So guys, be sure to support your 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 local people. Be sure to, to buy Grenada. Conscious consumerism is a huge deal. And if we are so committed to this fascinating future that we keep talking about we have to be actively involved guys we have to get in there and start building the future that we really want to enjoy Absolutely. and and take a part in creating it and all i'm saying is competition is dead somebody left his shop by the side of the road collaboration is in it's big it's huge Definitely. it is so rewarding it makes you feel good it makes somebody else feel good let's all get together get on board and help create a better future for grenada and better future for the world and truly a fascinating and fabulous life guys be sure to like this video subscribe share it if you think it makes sense and i'm sure you do because you're here <laughs> and um just you know Thank you for listening. Thank you for all the feedback we've been getting. It's so encouraging. And stay loved. <laughs> Have a great Thank Sunday, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. -bye. Bye.